I bet it feels different now. If you notice, we are no longer in the old previous timeline. We're actually in between two. So think of it like you have one foot in the 90s and one foot in like 2022. I know that's how it is right now. And I believe it's going to get even more interested, especially when they activate that CERN. They've been activating the CERN for a long time, but they're trying to tap into some other. They're trying to utilize the fear of the masses to, to you know, exert that towards the CERN. I mean, the CERN, so that way they make their shit happens. But they don't. But they already know that it already failed, so they just need to convince you that it worked to have you put use your manifestation to try to you know make make their plan work or successful. But it's not going to work because it's always a variable that's against it. But People can still try though. Like look at the Titanic. They were still playing on the way on the way down. You know, they were sinking. They knew what was going on, but they were still playing that violin. <sighs> so just expect there to be like a show. There's a game. Now, because people realize the way shit is, like they can't win. Now you notice that because they're being themselves. Yes. When they start to become more of their true nature or they're not like hiding shit like there was before, that shows that they've already lost because they're now giving up. You're seeing them give up. If they were winning, they would not be showing their true nature. Like they're doing things. Like I won't name out any you know details, but if you guys watching this video, you know what I'm talking about. That just shows you what is going on. So it's just like, okay, so things are already playing out for your in your favor, but it's gonna be some, I would say, NPCs that act up along the way. So you're gonna be noticing, you know, Burst, emotional, they say, you know, a lot of fear, a lot of attention. They want you to put attention here. They want you to focus on this. So just be mindful and just manifest what your goals are. So stick to like what you really were brought here to do. I say, so idle time, idle, idle time is bad for idle mind. That is like the big thing right now. So I would. So if you're not doing something, then or you're not uh, actively pursuing a goal or something or something like that, then typically you're not in a high vibration. Especially if you're just working a nine to five. There's no way you're in a high vibration. You may act or pretend, but I come on. Let's be let's be real. So pick up a hobby, get into a different groove, set up a business, motivate it. I'm saying all you gotta do is say to your mind, three, two, one, four, and if you feel sleepy or tired, it will wake you up. It's already proven. It's in the FBI, CIA da uh, um, database. These numbers, like it literally reprogrammed the feeling. So 55515, it heals you. It makes you feel better. 3214, it wakes you up. You're no longer exhausted. Uh, what else? 520-741-8988, money manifestation. I'm telling you, these numbers, very good. So I'll tell you one more time. 3214. That's you waking up. If you got a lot of jobs, you're going to need it. If you don't want to go sleep and you want to get your hustle on, you're going to need it. If, uh, if you're trying to uh, make some quick money, 520-741-8988, uh, that's going to put you in a more vibrational setting. 55515, that heals you. It removes pain. It, it just it, You become immune to pain. Yeah, it doesn't affect you anymore. So I'm telling you, there's a lot more where this came from. Go on the FBI and CIA database. They have it there. Technically, it's a law. They have to have it there. It's just not many people are privy to this kind of knowledge because they, they don't know that the FBI is required to give you this knowledge. I know. Otherwise, they look like they're holding something from you. Whoo! Hey, I'm just saying, though. You feel me? So... Be mindful. We're going through timelines. We're jumping. And this is going to be an interesting ride. So hold on to your consciousness. I mean, hold on to your thoughts. Keep them because you may just end up in the wrong timeline that you don't want to end up in. That's why it's so important that you don't focus on anything that you don't want to bring into your vibration. Because your vibration is speeding up. So you're manifesting things way more faster. So I bet you're realizing some strange things. And you're like, what the? Yeah, I know you're seeing them. And I know. But just be patient and be relaxed that's the big thing i want to say be relaxed don't tense up don't try to like get you know emotional or trying to i'm telling you i had to leave you know i had to leave the place today because i was just like oh it felt my head i felt a bunch of weird sensations i just didn't like it was a gym right down the street but you know i just didn't like the setting and i didn't like the vibe the energy that came so i just had to switch up because it's going to be a lot more things coming out in the open and you're going to see some things that you 
did not expect to see in 2022. So just be just be aware, yo. I just wanted to say, yo, we jumped through timelines. It's five planets. This is about this energy just now hit us like two days ago. No, a day ago. No, two days ago on the 24th. So now, but for the next two weeks, we have five, six planets. We have the energy in our cosmos. You know what that means, right? Well, think of it like this. In Superman, when when the red sun came into their well, well their orbit, what happened? I know. So, hey, y'all, be well, you know what I'm saying? Keep your vibrations high. Always raise them up every time, 24-7. Don't let nobody get you down. Always be focusing on what you want to bring rather than the problem. Don't focus on the problem at all no more. I'm telling you, it's useless. Just focus on the solution in every scenario, and you're going to see amazing things happen, okay? All right, yeah, I'm going to wrap this video. I'll do some more of these, y'all. We're going to be talking about some, well, I used to be taking cold showers right now, yo. Let me tell y'all, cold showers is a whole other thing, but I'm going to go over like 20 benefits of cold shower so that way you can probably see that you've been missing out on this one healing elixir that's going to get you back in your game if you don't feel like you got enough energy also use that number three two one four but also cold shower if you feel like you need to heal if you feel like any type of like anxiety cold shower and i got some numbers for you too that you're gonna like all right